Welcome to Gaming Grounds. It's your boy Action Jack, and I'm coming back with another video today. Uh, today's video is mainly going to be a kind of like a conspiracy thing that I'm throwing out there of what I think Nintendo's main move is going to be after releasing the Switch Lite and having the main Switch on the market for the past two years. Um, this is not rumors. I don't have sources other than my own brain. So honestly, this is just my idea of where I think Nintendo will go or even what they should do. But honestly, I, I feel like this is the move that they're going to make. I don't have any, you know, facts or any interviews to where they've hinted at it. I just really think this is a Nintendo thing that they may may do. And at the same time, it sounds like a good idea of why uh, they keep the switch title within the light even though it doesn't switch and of course we continue to keep the main switch around but if you're looking forward to what i have to say and what i might have come up with and it might sound like a good idea please stay tuned okay so what you guys are looking at right now is something that i kind of pieced together to kind of get my idea across of what I was mentioning in the intro of what I came up with. And I came up with this while I was supposed to be working at work, but I was watching videos and listening to videos about, you know, the switch light that's been coming out and kind of watching some podcasts in regards to, you know, why people felt the way they felt about the, the switch light, whether they liked it or not, or, you know, what they felt like Nintendo should have done in regards to the name and, you know everything else so i'm gonna give a quick breakdown but also give a little bit more detail than what you see right in front of you so what i came up with in, in in concept is this you see the nintendo switch Lite, which we got introduced to this week and nintendo is presenting that as a handheld only device and as you see what i put here is the main focus is portability at 200 dollars now, I know a lot of people are saying, okay, this is marketed towards the kids and yada, yada, yada. I don't think this is marketed solely towards the kids. It is for kids, for those that do not want the dock, as well as clumsy individuals or those that like to take their things portable and don't want too many module pieces to it. So a lot of people that don't want to run into that situation of, hey, I brought my Switch with me and for some odd reason, my Joy-Con does not work or my Joy-Con was not charging because it did not connect or even though when I truly had it connected or something broke or disconnected, whatever the case may be, I really feel like having this one piece unibody design for the Switch Lite minus the things that are being taken away for particular reasons. Obviously the TV out, we would all like to see, but at the same time, I feel like that would kind of shove the main Switch out of the way. The main Switch's uh, I guess you could say claim the fame is going to be the TV out portion while the switch Lite can do all of the same things as the switch minus a few features. It can't in turn have that TV out because then for those that don't like the IR mode, uh, the HD rumble and the idea of disconnecting joy cons, you kind of lose the, the switch cells at that point. So this is kind of painting you in a corner of, hey, look, we don't want to tell you the 3DS is phasing out, but this is replacing the 3DS. But at the same time, want to keep the Switch name, um, which I'm getting further into the video of where you can see I'm pointing everything towards the, the main wording of Switch brand. Um, even though you can't switch like you can do with the main Switch with the light, I feel like Nintendo is going to inevitably, inevitably just say, hey, look, the reason why the title Switch is in the name is because it is a brand, not just the concept. So that's where we start going in further to where what we have currently today, which is the main Switch, which is the hybrid console that that runs for $299.99. And as I place is an all around focus system It's mainly going to be for those that, hey, look, I love portability. But at the same time, I want these extra features that can kind of give me a home console like experience as well. Now, also what you see at that place is test run console under the hybrid console. And the reason why I say this is with the failure of the Wii U, which was not deserved, the switch came out running guns hot pretty fast. And I don't feel like we got a complete switch per se. And this was Nintendo's way of not only trying something new, but also testing the waters to see if people showed interest within a handheld 
more than they showed interest within a console which that's why i feel like we see a lot of these polls that other you know um i guess you could say news sources as well as nintendo themselves reaching out to the consumer asking who plays more in handheld and who plays more docked and as we've always seen with every poll is almost damn near a 50 50 split so with nintendo seeing that it's a 50 50 split you're going to have people that want handheld only and those that want console only so they can get the console group now with the with the hybrid switch but then you also have a piece of that group that are all about graphics all about you know 60 frames per second all about possibly 4k and then you have the group that says hey look i only want to do handheld but at the same time i don't care to pay 300 dollars and i don't care about high high-end graphics and as long as my game runs well and is not chugging like uh, a, a powerpoint presentation i'm fine and then that's when your switch light crowd comes into play so the main switch we have now is kind of like teasing both that don't really care to do handheld all the time but at the same time they want to do on their tv and then like i said the light is for those that can care less about all the extra stuff that you hear people go rah rah over on the internet about graphics 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 they just want a great experience with good looking games and handheld form and fashion for a cheap price now as you see at the bottom of this this presentation or whatever that i have up on the screen is nintendo switch xl and if you have Watch my last video that I just posted yesterday. Uh, please go check that out. Um, I hinted at the fact that Nintendo may be carrying the Switch title uh, thing the, much in the same vein as they did the DS. So we had the DS, we had the DS Lite, and then we went into you know DS XLs and DSIs and you know the whole nine with the whole DS family. But to bring it up more current, we had what 3DS. Uh, 3ds xl we had 2ds 2ds xl as well as the new nintendo 3ds and the new nintendo 3ds xl um i don't think nintendo is going to make that mistake again of brink putting out like a little slight bump with the new and trying to call it into something big but i have the idea of them driving home like i said with those that want graphics and making this just a home console so you see the $400 price point, which is the sweet spot for most people. If you're giving them enough, I guess you can say graphical upgrades going into your 1080 to 4K, as well as, you know, 60 frames for the games that need it. And, you know, 30, some will have 30 still. And then, you know, just having a great experience when it comes down to the type of games that you get. And a lot of people feel like the reason why Nintendo doesn't get uh, third party games day and date is because they don't have enough power, which you know has been proven wrong it just simply comes down right now to one can the game even be put on the switch and two if the storage for the carts that are still kind of expensive when you get past 32 if if they're available and if the company wants to chug out for that price so in hindsight i i really think that with those polls nintendo was trying to see if people are really leaning more towards handheld than they are console but honestly, we've all shown that we do both. So to kind of break it down and wrap it all up, I feel like the reason why the Nintendo Switch Lite still has the Switch name is because Nintendo's going to make it more of a brand and not necessarily naming it a Switch because that is the gimmick, if you will, or the main purpose of the title. Um, yes, a lot of people feel like you know the Switch Lite itself is irrelevant uh, because the Nintendo Switch itself is already portable. But then you have the crowd that feels like, okay, going pro is irrelevant because it already does what it needs to do for its form factor. But Nintendo's being smart. You can't cater to everyone with one system, but they do have the resources and the power and the knowledge and you know the creativity to try to create multiple systems for all. So in closing, if you only want to do handheld and you don't care about graphics, Nintendo has the light for you. If you want all the graphics, you want to be 4K, 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 I got the prettiest games on site, and also they run well, and to think that third party is going to give you more games just because you have more power, then I feel like the Nintendo Switch XL will be for you. But if you can care less about either or, but you like the fact that you can go back and forth and you're kind of in the middle, 
there you go the nintendo switch that we all love and know and own at this moment for 299.99 hence bringing you all together the switch brand known as the switch family so you know let me know what you think down in the comments you know hit me up on twitter and just let me know what you think in regards to this idea i'm not saying it's going to come true but i think you know it's a pretty good idea and plus like i said i did a lot of thinking of it when i was supposed to be working so let me know that i was doing something with myself today but nonetheless it's been your boy action jack i appreciate your time peace <laughs>